look how red my nose is. It's, I'm pretty sure there's like, it's bleeding. Okay, so it is <coughs> been a few days since we vlogged. We just haven't been feeling it. We are both on the mend now, but I feel like we're both in the same place where like, it like hurts to breathe because our noses are so raw from sneezing and just sinus grossness and like the skin is so dry. Like it hurts so bad. So I just got home from the store. I've been up. Oh, I cut my hair yesterday, by the way. I um, have been putting coconut oil on my nose and it hurts like at first because it's just like so dry that it literally like the skin just doesn't even know what the heck is happening um, and of course I have makeup on so it's gonna rub it all off but I am going to um, clean up the house really quick and then I'm gonna make some salsa I've never made this recipe of homemade salsa last time I made homemade salsa it was probably a, like a decade ago it's been so long um, I definitely wasn't with Sam so it'll be fun to see if this one's any good it's kind of spicy um, and I'm kind of hoping that that will help us. We like mild to medium salsa. Um, but we like both agree that eating hot food right now has really helped us. So <sighs> I'm going to film that. Do you guys hear this dog behind me? He wants to go outside. And then when he goes outside, he's going to realize it's disgusting. Doug, you realize it's gross out there, right? Yeah. I bless you. Do you get sick? Did you get the sickness? Uh oh. You can't start sneezing. We put him out. Come on. Go outside. See that it's raining and you want to come back in. And, like, I don't know, 30 bucks. So, yeah, Sam should be home soon. I'm going to, uh, like I said, just clean up real quick and then I'll be back. I'm going to show you guys what Doug is doing and see if I can do this without him hearing me. Look at him. He is sitting on the porch under the covered part where there's no rain, just sitting. But like, what a weirdo. It's freezing outside. It's freezing. And he's just sitting out there looking into the yard. Seriously, the cutest and most hilarious dog. Like, he just does the most random things, and I'm obsessed with it.
Hey guys, so we are venturing out of the house tonight to do a date night. We have not done a date night in a long, long time. Like an actual planned, we're going on a date. Um, we're still sick, both of us. So I brought Lysol wipes and we're gonna wipe everything down before and wipe it all down after so we don't get anybody else sick. But we just need a day out of the house because we have literally been cooped up for basically a week and it sucks. So, that's what we're doing tonight. And then we have to run by Sam's Club. I don't even well I regret it severely but I'm not I'm not sorry um, my nose looks so bad and it is, I just should not have gone out in public but I eat gluten I am paying for it now I look ridiculous with the way my nose is this red I need to like gluten and cheese I know I really and I feel like I'm gonna throw up I really need to not put makeup on tomorrow but I can't because I have blog photos um no, I'm not doing mine tomorrow. <laughs> we were leaving Red Lobster and there was a couple screaming at each other. And Sam and I both kind of had the same assumption, divorced couple maybe, with like, man had a new woman with him. And they all came to celebrate their daughter's birthday. That is what it was. That's what, that's what that was. Oh, yeah. screaming at each other in the parking lot. And that was terrible. But it was interesting to, to to hear a couple just without a care in the world in the middle of public screaming. And, this looks so bad! <laughs> oh my god! Coming from someone with divorced parents, that is <coughs> that is what your childhood is like. Unless your parents can be adults and like truly co-parent, every divorced kid has to deal with it. That's really sad. Very, very few people could actually, you know, behave. Like, like realize, okay, we're not gonna be together, but that doesn't mean we have to be. Oh my gosh! You know, bad parents. All right, so we're on our way home now, and date night is officially over.